Well, we should think about being content, um, but it's not easy. You know, the, the energy that drives attachment is dissatisfaction. And what perpetuates dissatisfaction is attachment because it's a bottomless pit. It can't be satisfied. As Lama Yeshi says, we have to learn to be content. So how do you do that? Well, if you observe your mind, you're drinking your delicious cup of coffee in the morning, the anticipation, the excitement, waiting for it to come, that's attachment. When you get to the first mouthful, it definitely triggers pleasure, fantastic. But what happens at the same moment, attachment is still not satisfied. So you anticipate the next mouthful and the same happens. Always not happy with that moment of pleasure, always wanting the ne hoping the next pleasure will be better. But as we all know from our experience, the pleasure goes down. And then four coffees later, you revolt, it's revolting to you. This is the vicious circle, you know. So you have to catch it, cut it, nip it in the bud. So it's a simple practice, but don't, don't hold your breath. It's not going to happen. It's not going to be successful immediately. We have to catch it. That constant dissatisfaction, even as you're enjoying the cake, the dissatisfaction, not enough. So you want more. And as my mother used to say, you know, I'd think and think about it. The more you get, the more you want. It's completely from Buddha's workbook. We have to learn to be content.